ahead. So Tim, we're going to go up to the three planes, and we're going to begin with the sagittal plane going up straight. And you want to not create any shearing of the knee, so you're lightly putting your foot down. Little ground reactive force, so you're not slamming your foot down, and you're pumping your arms like a good track dive. We want to get those ground reactive forces. We want the flexor digitorum brevis to move the ground and let it communicate all the way up to that hamstring. So, Tim, we're going to have you just go up probably about five steps in the sagittal plane here, if you would. That's great. Come right on back down. So what we would be doing, Tim, is moving around the stadium. So after you've done the sagittal, have you come over here with your back for me, we're going to go up in that frontal plane. So likewise, using that arm motion, stepping up with your right foot, going ahead and go ahead and step up with your right foot, come up with your left. Try to keep, we're going to keep your back straight here, Tim. Stand tall. Yeah. Stand tall, keep that lumbar spine. That looks good. Come right on back down. We'll have you come back down the red, Tim. I don't want you to compress that hamstring too much. Don't forget, you've got a hammy problem. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so, Tim, you went up first in the sagittal plane. We're going to go back up in the sagittal plane, too. So go ahead and walk up straight, keeping a straight lumbar spine. Light step. Place that foot down lightly. There we go. We'll have you come back right down the red. So we're going to have you in the frontal plane again, but with your left shoulder. Good. We'll have you keep that lumbar spine so we're not pulling on the hamstring. Step up with your left foot. Good. Come on up. There we go. right back on down. Hamstring feeling better already? Feeling <laughs> great. <laughs> so again, going up in our sagittal plane, walk on up, we'll give you five steps on up. One, two, step lightly, three, four, five. Great. Come on back down. So Tim, we went up in a sagittal plane, Frontal plane, sagittal plane, frontal plane, sagittal. Now we're going to go up in a transverse plane. So let me have you stand right here with your back foot. And we're going to take that left foot and you're going to step it in front of your body and place it on the stair. Straight back. And then come on up with your right foot. And now step with the left foot over again. We're going to have to try to keep that back straight here this time. Good. Come on up. One more, come on up. And then come on back down. So Tim, we're working those muscles along the side of the leg, getting right up into the transverse part, and getting into the medial lateral part of the hamstring as it attaches and goes right on up. So we're going to have you face forward again. We're going to go back to that sagittal plane, walking up straight. There we go. Come back down. And the last part of our matrix will be going back to that transverse plane again. So, we're going to have you stand there, and now with your right foot crossing over your body, and letting that pull you right on up. Cross over, pull right on up. Cross. Two more on up there. One more. There we go. 